Hi guys, thought I'd show you some new gear that I got in. Well, actually not new gear, but just some uh, additional cameras from Security Camera 2000, the CMQ1993X. I've had great luck with this, great daylight camera, and picked up a couple. We'll be passing these off to, uh, I'd be crazy to throw on some new builds. So, uh, great camera. If you haven't picked one up, definitely worth uh, checking out and see our full review on this camera if you missed it. All right, let's move on. Also got some additional lenses. Um, really like to put the 2.8 and 2.1 lens uh, conversion on uh, the camera as well. So the 2.8 is a great standard lens if you want some real wide angle. 2.1 is nice without getting too crazy. So um, they always package them well, send them in a separate box, and uh, those are ready to go. Last but not least, let's take a look at the PTQ1776L. What is this? It's a pan and tilt. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. I thought this was a uh, pretty cool setup um, considering it's an expensive cost and everything kind of built and all ready to go. So on this pan and tilt, it looks to me to be Metal Gear servos that, uh, that it's using. I have to pull it apart to actually find out, but um, based on the feel and looking underneath, it does have a metal housing underneath um, the servo arm. And it's just very simple and straightforward, and I'm uh, excited to kind of get this on either a plane or the plan is to test it out on one of my quads just for the time being and uh, see how basically the tilt will work for stabilization. So we'll take a look at that. Of course, two servos two servo leads, you're plugged in and you're ready to go. Camera's gonna mount here. Now I'm sure for many applications you're gonna have to get rid of these tabs here and either Velcro your camera on or come up with kind of a slight bonification in uh, installation of your camera. But um, you got your pan and you got tilt. It's 180 degree rotation and it's 130 degree uh, tilt on the angle. So we're back. I made some modifications to this pan and tilt. Removed all the tabs, made a nice clean flat surface, and I went ahead and scuffed everything up with some uh, sandpaper so that I've got a nice uh, surface to put my Velcro down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll be able to mount my camera directly to it with some Velcro. All right, there we go. We've got the Velcro attached, and next step will be installing it on the aircraft and testing the camera position, see if I need to make a hole for the uh, uh, video cable to go through. All right, so the pan and tilt is situated on top of uh, the pod where I have my other pan and tilt, the old one, which is up front here, the PT-260. And then I just have this actually velcroed down. It's actually really quite secure. Um, it, sorry, this thing is binding with it a little bit, so let me throw that underneath, see if that can help. Um, the camera that I've got on there, the housing, is quite heavy. Again, this is a test, so the servo definitely doesn't like anything heavy, so you're gonna wanna probably do an exposed board uh, camera on here, uh, which is what I'm gonna do. And then I have it set here. Sorry, that's my uh, finder on my elevator. When I stop using it, uh, it'll start beeping if I lose. If I lose signal or the plane goes down, helps me find it. All right, and then can look down. And then when I go to lift it back up, it doesn't quite like that, too heavy. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and change that because it doesn't have enough torque to lift it back up. Possibly if I change the servo or something, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get an exposed camera board or possibly pull this one out and uh, fly it that way. All right guys, on to uh, the next phase. Let's see how that goes. All right, so we're out at the airfield, official uh, day to test this stuff out. Let me show you what we got going on here. Uh, went ahead and modified my camera, took it out of the enclosure and covered it uh, in glue. Velcro on the back side and it definitely lightened this thing up. So now I have uh, enough torque on these servos that it has no problem bringing it back up. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in the air and give this simple pan and tilt a test.
All right, guys, that was uh, two flights I took you on. Uh, it's quite windy out today, and of course, as I'm about to wrap up my testing here today, the wind is dying down. But, you know, that's how it goes with us RC pilots. Uh, still a fun day in the air, and um, actually, I'm pretty happy with the little pan cam. I mean, it's cheap, it's basic, and ideally, it'd be nice to get a little bit more rotation on this servo. I've set the limits as far as I can without binding this thing, and that's about as far as I get. So I can see the wings. It would be nice to go a little farther because I don't feel like it's full 180. And then uh, with the angle that I've got set here, that works quite well. As you saw, a little angle down so I can see the prop. And then uh, if I'm doing, you know, hunting for a down plane or something, I can look over the side. Um, this is the first time I've had a tilt set up on my plane. So again, with each kind of change, it does change just how you fly and uh, to me orientation on things. So just getting a little bit more used to once you angle over or change the angle of the camera, keeping things stable on the plane. Of course, the day being a little harder with, uh, with the wind here. Um, guys, thanks for watching the review. Um, yeah, check one out. You know, it's not a lot of money to invest in. I think someone could probably spend a little bit more time on this, switch a few things out and make it even that much better. But for, uh, I think they sell around for 20 bucks, not a bad deal. Um, just make sure you have a light camera or put it on a small setup. Uh, something else I thought would be pretty cool, and maybe we'll do this down the road, is set up an additional uh, receiver on one of these planes, or I should say transmitter, so that uh, someone's flying here, and then someone is basically flying from this position. Um, this might be just for tracking the plane that's downed, and this person is actually the pilot. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. And I'm not sure if anyone has done that. So we'll have a co-pilot ride along that they can look out over the side. All right, guys, thanks for watching Stone Blue Airlines. Have fun in the air, and we'll see you next time.